Don't you just hate it when you're chilling on your couch, smoking DMT, hoping to see some cool visuals, but instead the DMT entity show you a weird machine and tell you to figure it out? My DMT trip this week was the equivalent of kicking a vending machine and getting several extra snacks at once. This DMT experience took me from one place to another and it just kept going and going. It was awesome and I will tell you all about it in a three-part series as there was just so much happening from that single DMT breakthrough. It was a quiet Christmas Eve and I decided to check on the DMT entities to see if they're celebrating just like Joe Rogan intended and oh boy were they ready to party. I took a cold shower, did my meditation and loaded the dub rig with 60 milligrams and BAM! I took the head and watched as the milky white vapor slowly made its way through the glass inside. I felt absolutely nothing. There was no burning in my throat or in my lungs. If this was an Olympic sport, this would have been one of my top three smoothest DMT hits. As I sat back on the couch, an absolutely crystal clear 3D object appeared in front of me and this is what I'm drawing right now. It looked like a strange piece of alien machinery. It was metallic, it was reflecting the checkered pattern in the room that it was in. There was a presence that was showing me this particular piece of hyperspace DMT machinery. Just to be clear, this was a separate object in the DMT realm not a DMT machine elf, which I've talked about in my other videos. I thought to myself, why am I saying this? What is so important about it? And a voice replied telepathically, look closer, pay attention. As holographic symbols appeared in the center of the device, it looked like the holographic interface of a fighter jet. I got the sense that this object is very significant. The very way I was allowed to observe it was pretty unusual and I felt that there is something that needs to be understood in that situation. But it was futile. It was like trying to explain a toaster to a caveman. Whether this DMT machine was a pure product of my subconscious or beamed into my brain from some other star system, whoever is doing that will have to do better. We should all sit on the cosmic table and go through all the information they have. Doing this over the course of a few seconds, whenever I decide to smoke DMT, it's just not gonna cut it. What would be the purpose of such a device anyways? An interdimensional portal, better rocket technology, a new coffee machine maybe? If you think about it, every single piece of machinery was a thought at some point. We're literally printing material objects from the raw fluid of our minds. So your own mind wouldn't be an unusual place for a machine to reside in. But like this, with that level of clarity, the graphics better than any video game you've ever played. And as a matter of fact, better than real waking life. As I was contemplating all this while looking at the machine, the view changed and a really awesome DMT experience followed. I got abducted by aliens and I'm gonna tell you all about it in the next video.